が3人とモーターがありましてユーザーはあ,あと非接触充電ができるようになっていますユーザーはそれを外からスマホを使って操作できるようになっています Serial connects to your phone over Bluetooth You can get about 50 meters of range about 30 to 50 depending if you're indoor or outdoor、um, It can roll over 2 meters per second and it's made of a high density polycarbonate which makes 10m から 15m ぐらいになります。速さ、速度は1秒間に 2m ぐらいの速さで走ることができます。外側のカラーは高密度ポリカーボネートに非常に頑丈にできておりますので、今ぐらいこのように落としたぐらいでは何らリフトもいたしません。そして防水です。So you can also change the color to whatever you want and so So、examples of just driving. So you can drive it、um, in your office, in your home. You can drive it outside in your garden.、Um, you can take it in your pool, or you can even play with your pet. So the first thing you want to do when you play with Sphere is you want to aim it. So there's actually a little blue light on the front of Sphere. Um, and you, as you rotate that dial, this little blue light goes around in a circle. And what you want to do is you want to point that blue light at you. And what it is, you take your finger off,、uh, off the screen. So, once, once it's aimed, so once it knows where you are, you can then use the joystick on the left side of the screen and you just push the joystick in the direction you want the ball to move and it'll roll in that direction. So, unlike a car where there's like a front and a back, there's no front and back to a ball. So, with this aiming,、uh, we make it very easy to control、uh, devices like this from your phone. So, it makes it real pretty cool.、Um, it's not just the hardware, but it's more of the apps that are running on your smartphone. That Really make it do whatever you want it to. So, Sphero is a 3D mouse. 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 And you'll see when the game starts, as she tilts, as she tilts Sphero back and forth and rotates Sphero. Um, so she's controlling the spaceship. The spaceship has、um, associated with it. You have these cores which give you more health and better weapons. And the nice thing is, instead of moving your tablet around your phone, which makes it hard to see,、um, also you can't play sort of these tilt games、um, on the couch or in bed.、Um, and also you get rotation, which you don't get generally with, with the smartphone itself. So, that's, so, using the sensors inside the ball,、um, we use the sensors inside the phone, we use the shape of the ball, we use the,、uh, the color of the ball, and we also use some crazy math、um, 
to detect where Sphero is, and then we overlay 3D characters with, on top of or around Sphero. So it's a little slow on the airplane, but as you can see, you don't see the ball, but you see this little beaver running around. And what makes this special is we have a physical device that's associated with the virtual representation of this character. So, for instance, if you're playing on the sidewalk and someone walks by, they'll look down at it. Or, for instance, they can even kick it, and you'll see the character have stars around its head and it gets, it gets hit. So that character can actually react to the real world. Um, so we're working on different gameplay around this, and we have two apps out. So obviously this is pretty simple, but then on the next level up, we have an app called MacroLab, where you can take uh, a sequence of commands for Sphero and put them into a script. So, so this app is just using make the ball spin, but we're using this app in schools to teach kids about math, um, trigonometry, and basic programming. And from there, we have another app called Word Basic, where you can actually program to do autonomous behavior um, and different programs um, by and if you if the ball isn't going the direction you want it to you can always re-aim <笑>自分のことどれだかわからない。<笑>
が全部してきたあるなよ<笑>けてどうすんのよけて。